Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. We're in the middle of a series of teachings on the Old Testament and seeing how Jesus is revealed in every book, and not just in every book, but on every page of every book in the Old Testament, because Jesus is the theme of all of the Bible. And uh, we've been talking about the book of Ruth. And, you know, it, Ruth, she left behind her old loyalties to her birth nation of Moab and became one with the people of Israel. And she went with her mother-in-law, Naomi, back to Israel. She was a widow, as Naomi was a widow. There would have seemed to have been little for her in Israel, but that was where Ruth went. And there she was helped out by a man who became her kinsman redeemer. Now the principle of the kinsman redeemer was that if a member of Israel was left abandoned and destitute, that the closest relative should go and help them out. And uh, the family member would help them and help restore them to a place of stability. Uh, now Boaz was not a blood relative of, of Ruth because she had no blood relatives in Israel. He was just a, a relative by marriage. But somehow he took compassion upon this young woman who was an outcast, who would have been looked down upon because she was not an Israelite. She was from Moab, a country that had been cruel to Israel. Uh, but Boaz, was, Boaz had a soft spot for the outcast because Boaz's mother was Rahab. Rahab the prostitute from Jericho. She married a guy called Salmon and Boaz was their son. And so Boaz helped out uh, Ruth and ended up marrying Ruth. And, and Ruth became his wife. And, uh, you know, there's a beautiful symbol of Jesus here because Jesus is our kinsman redeemer. Jesus is the one who came when we had no hope and could not stand on our own two feet. And Jesus came and helped us. Jesus is the ultimate kinsman redeemer. He assumed our identity. He became a human being so he could be uh, not just a God away up there, but was actually our brother in the flesh, even though he was the incarnate son of God, so that he could save us. Now, Ruth and Boaz got married and they had a son and that son was called Obed. And in turn, Obed got married and he had a son and his son was called Jesse. And Jesse got married and he had a few sons. But the one that we really are interested in was the young boy David, who became the king of Israel and became a king, a man after God's own heart, so that whenever Jesus eventually did come to earth, Jesus came as the son of David and was not ashamed to be called by that name. David, Jesus was not ashamed to be a descendant of David, Jesus was not ashamed to be descended from Ruth, to be descended from even Rahab. And so Ruth married her kinsman redeemer, but in doing so, ended up giving us the true, ultimate kinsman redeemer, and that is Jesus Christ, who came and identified himself with the human race, took us under his protection, took us under his covering, paid the price for us upon the cross. And Jesus that still says to us today, he will not leave us, he will not abandon us. He says, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. And every time I read the book of Ruth, I'm inspired by the great love that she showed. I'm inspired by the love that Boaz had for her. But most of all, I'm inspired because it leads us directly to the greatest love of all, the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. God bless you in Jesus' name. Join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Yeah.